The State Institute of Hotel Management operated by Saksham Educational Foundation under PBB mode today organized a career counseling on hospitality education at State Institute of Hotel Management Dimapur. Dr. Somidra Sen, advisor SIHM, while speaking to Hornbill TV, said that the institute being opened in Nagaland is a big opportunity for the Nagas where unemployment is one of the biggest issues. The course guarantees placement both national and internationally. Hunarse Rosgar Dag training program under the scheme of capacity building for service providers is a skill development initiative of Ministry of Tourism, Government of India and a program in Nagaland would be delivered by the SIHM Dimapur. Hornbill TV, it is State Institute of Hotel Management. There is a lot of work in the Yarela Executive School. In the Institute, the main role of the locals is to focus on the focus on the train, on the national level, on the international level, on the prepared institute. In the Institute, the former HOD, IHM Gohati, and the current advisor, SIHM. Aru itu iklan ini oleh tadi orang recognised trainer asa Department of Personal and Training Government of India lara. Itu nisna mantai loko tak kuli asa aru itu la institute la opor aru jan kari kan lo ini jawab. So thank you for sparing your time for Hornbill TV. So what is going straight to the point? What what is so I'm so sorry. What is S A S I H M focused on? So this is State Institute of Hotel Management, Dimapu. It is a, a joint collaboration between Government of Nagaland, Ministry of Tourism, and Saksham Foundation, which is under the Trade Promotion Council of India. So it is in a PPP mode. This was established 10 years back, but because of certain constraints, it have not seen the D. So once the government of Nagaland take an initiative. This is the first PPP model of hotel management all over India. And we are 100% sure that this will be a success model which can be replicated in other parts of the country. And this gives a opportunity to the young aspirants who wants to take up a career in the hospitality especially after plus 12 in the undergraduate program, that will give them an enormous career opportunity and that too at their very doorstep. So far, who, many people from, many students from Nagaland are going outside, far up places. Near has been Guwahati, further has been Bangalore. So that problem is now over. This is a state-of-the-art institute with all modern facilities, equipments, trained faculties. We have already have an MOU and recognition from Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, to start their flagship program, Huna Se Rojgar Tak. And we are running four courses, the core areas of hotel and hospital industry, that is multi-cuisine, that means deals with the cooking part, baking part, then F&B service and bar, front office and housekeeping. We have already started it eight days back, which is totally sponsored by ministry. Even to the extent if the students wants to stay in the hostel, we have a very good facility for the hostels, both for the boys and girls. And we are fortunate enough, I doubt any other IHMs have, have that, but we have started, we have been given 120 capacity, and we know almost we have covered more than 110. So all the parameters they have fulfilled, and even the hostel, if they're staying within, outside the radius of 40 kilometers from SIM Dimapur, they will get fully funded by the ministry even for their hostel. And the course fee is free. Over and above that, they will get uniform, toolkits, as well as stipend. All by 
Government of India, Minister of Tourism. And I hope you know one of the way out for state landlocked states like Nagaland is tourism. Because here the infrastructure, because I'm here for last 37 years in the Northeast. And one of the problem of the entire Northeast is that infrastructure is not there. Geographical isolation is a challenge. And there's hardly any scope for heavy industry, not even medium industry. But there are aspirations. Young generations are getting educated and ultimately they are migrating. And hardly it is helping any state, especially Nagaland. So this type of career wanted, oriented, skill based courses will help them a long run to get a professional career ahead, not only in the job market, but they can also be an entrepreneur. Clear? And with the emphasis on Atmanivar Bharat, so until Bharat can become only self-reliant or Atmanivar, when each and every citizen become that. And the vehicle to that is that type, this type of professional course. It is totally a professional course. And in today's workshop and the seminar that just now been concluded, you people have heard, it's not only the hospitality hotel, other allied, even to the extent of retail, startup, hospitals, everybody is recruiting the hotel management pass outs. Because they are trained, they are skilled, and most importantly, they know how to handle guests or the customers. That type of professionalisms or that type of course content designed for the students hardly available in other field. Here there are many people going around the market with a piece of paper called degree. But whether the degree is fetching them gainful employment that is a multi-billion dollar question. But here, if they get a degree, then that is the most and certified. And when that opportunity has come, and you have seen the infrastructure and everything. So once this has been, they got it admitted over here, and it is a joint entrance examination, which is scheduled on 14th of May. And we are just waiting for last inspection. One inspection has taken place. On basis of the inspections and satisfactory outcome of that, we have been handed over this four courses under HUNAR, fully funded by Ministry of Tourism. Now, our next target, and which we are 100% sure we may, will get it, just we are waiting for the, just the last formalities of inspection by National Council. Once they give the green signal, we hope from this academic session, as I said, mentioned, from 14th May, the entrance is starting. So that generally starts from July end or August. So we'll start it our three years BSc program. And once that takes root, we are going to take other short term courses, diplomas, and also if God, it permits and we are successful from the cooperation of the local populations and the people. We want to serve them with master's programs in years to come. So there's no end. And once this becomes a popular, not only the people of Nagaland, but the neighboring states, the students will be helpful, neighboring districts of Assam. And since it is a joint entrance, so there's a provision from length and breadth of India, the students will join. And that will make the cultural interaction, a vibrant one, and we'll come to know each other. People have many doubts about Northeast. So once the people come and stay and see how friendly, how hospital the people of Nagaland is. So I think that is the main thing we can contribute for the state of Nagaland, for the young people, the youth of Nagaland, and obviously, State IHM Dimapur will definitely promise to play 
a big room. And we ensure there is a lot of campus happening. Corporate worlds will definitely come. And they will recruit people over here. And then they will come to know what is the potential, how disciplined, how good they are fluent in spoken English, and how their attitude and temperament fits this industry. Because if you go outside, you'll find in many hospital, hospitality, industry, hotels, many youth of Nagaland are working. But that is in a basic level. Once they get trained and have the degree, so they can always aspire to start from supervisor and reach to the general manager level. So speaking about their course here, once uh, they, they finish their course, will the uh, uni will the institute also be providing uh, recruitments for them? Yes, that's what I said. Nation we'll we'll uh, have na national and obviously international because if, say for example, Radisson Group come, it is an international one. So they may recruit for Indian Radisson brands and then if they found them fit, they will train them and obviously whenever they are opening in other places, they will say Taj. Taj is an Indian brand, but they have footfall in most of the part of the world. So obviously they will send. And as I said, there is a unwritten thing that people of Northeast given a preference in the hospitality industry because of their profile, because of their nature, people understands and they are hardworking. There's no doubt about it. By nature, you mean hardworking? Not only hardworking, soft-spoken. Mm -hmm. They don't take stress too much. And they can manage any difficult situations. What more a people want, an entrepreneur want? So this is, these are the key features which we are going to highlight. Apart from knowledge, skill, everything. And once it is in a national council format, the final examination, semester end examination, or what we call the TE, term end examination, it will be conducted with a question paper coming from Delhi, answer script going back to National Council, NOIDA office, and there it is centrally evaluated. So nobody can say that they are not at par, because their certificate piece picks that volume. That is evaluated at a central level, question papers of central level, so the faculties has to be on their foot. If in the final examination students, uh, students started failing, so the owners will come back to the faculties. And we have the system that right from the beginning will train the faculty with the latest pedagogy, with the latest technique in teaching, so that our student doesn't fall. And we'll give more emphasis because it's practical oriented. Other items may be given in other way, theory. No, we are going to give it on practical. Even it costs us, we don't care. So that, that uniqueness, because we have to have some USP for this state IHM. So that tomorrow, after three years, after four years, when our student goes to the industry, they will be the brand ambassador. They will speak for the industry, not us. They will speak for the institute, not us. And that is how we envision. The entire management team has envision to put it forward. That's why I request the public at large, especially in the Nagaland, to cooperate and provide us with students and give them the opportunity to choose the right career. And obviously, we are also going to stress upon entrepreneurship. Because as I said, that is the uh, Thanks, Horton Reel. I'm Sanjay Kumar, uh, lecturer and principal in charge of the SIHM, State Institute of Hotel Management, Catering Technology, Applied Nutrition, Dimapur, Nagaland. This one is also PP mode, uh, PPP mode at the Saksham Education Foundation Group. Okay, and this one is already affiliated with the NCHMCT, National Council of the Hotel Management, NOEDA. We have running here, talking about the here, Hunar Se Rozgar Tak. Because this one is a program for the tourism government of India, they have facilitated with the 
all four major core departments. Like, uh, firstly, we are, we are talking about that multi-cuisine cook, FNBHD board, and front office associate, and room attendant. We have total 30 uh, seats there separately, and at most, I have already getting uh, 110 more. And we have a total interesting for is here for the Nagaland. They have very cooperating students as much as because they know very well because in this field of the hospitality, much more knowledgeable about the English. But in Nagaland, they have a local language of the English. I'm talking about the Nagaland because this one is the biggest opportunity for the hospitality and tourism industry. We are talking about the academics program because of the all students not from the Nagaland. They have already come from the diffuse district from Assam. And 16 people has, have been already associated with the Hunar Seros Gartak. And uh, I am talking about the multi, we have all full uh, equipments, lab inside of the kitchen, front office, we are providing the front, of, uh, front office lab, we are providing the room at, um, uh, housekeeping lab, we are providing the front uh, kitchen labs, and restaurant attached bar, state institute of hotel management, catering technology, they have providing lots of things in a first institute of the Nagaland, uh, this one is the very uh, passionate for the Nagaland from the others of the Dipus districts. They have al already associated with the SIHM Dimapur. Thank you. Okay. So uh, with SIHM uh, coming here, the institute coming here, how is it going to benefit the people and what? how will SIHM, uh, you know, like benefit the people, one, and then how is it different from the other institutes? Okay. SIHM, the State Institute of Hotel Management, uh, see the benefit that the students will get from this institute is uh, earlier to do hotel management, I myself am a hotel management graduate, so earlier we would travel out, but today you have it in the state itself. So you don't need to travel to Guwahati, you don't need to travel to Shillong, or you don't need to travel to any parts of India. You'll, on, you'll get all the courses that other IHM are providing uh, here in Dimapur itself. So that's an advantage. Right now, uh, we also are having a three months course, which is the Hunazi Rosgar, which the government provide uh, uh, everything free of course for the uh, students. So right now, currently we have about 111 students. Uh, it's a three months course. And after they finish the course, uh, they could actually get placed in any way. See, the manpower requirement, even in Dimapur, in the market, in hospitality, in hotels, in restaurants, you see, are huge, but we are not able to get the correct people. So SIHM will play a vital role in that, in providing the uh, kind of uh, manpower that the industry requires in Nagaland. And uh, SIHM, the State Institute of Hotel Management, is how it is different. Uh, let me just put it in a simple way. Uh, there are a lot of institutes out here. Um, I know for the fact there are a lot of co uh, uh, there are institutes which are providing uh, courses for uh, hospitality. But the difference out here is none of those institutes have uh, the kind of inf infrastructure that we are having here. And everything we are emphasizing more on a uh, practicality. So there'll be a lot of on-job training. So there'll be a lot of uh, practicals done. So that is another positive. And the big positive, as we said, is since it's spread over 16 acres of uh, land, we have a lot of potentials to develop. And all the students who are coming here will definitely uh, will benefit and will be, uh, they will not regret joining SIHM in Dimapo. Uh, hello, hi, good afternoon. I'm Alam Jungla Jamir, and I am a consultant for SIHM Dimapur. Otherwise, I'm an entrepreneur. So can you uh, speak about the facilities SIHM is providing? Yes, uh, SIHM, it's a new institute. Uh, the first batch of students for short-term course was started 27 January, 
and we are hoping to start with three years degree course uh, this session, which is in the month of August, September. So um, the facilities that we have here is the administrative building, as you have seen, it's like huge. We have all the infrastructure for practical kitchen, uh, restaurant, uh, housekeeping front office, that is the four major department in, in uh, hospitality, like, you know, in hotel management. And uh, uh, along with that, we have uh, boys hostel, girls hostel, uh, the space, as was mentioned by my colleague, 16 acres of land. So, and it's not crowded here, away from the city, just idle place for students for, you know, uh, to study here. So, um, why, why uh, state instead of hotel management? I also, I myself is also a hotel management graduate. I studied from IHM Guwahati. And now the facility, we don't have to go out of Nagaland to study hotel management. I mean, you can come in, enroll here and study from here. Uh, you can stay in the hostel or you can be a day scholar by just staying at home and you know, you can uh, come from home. And the facility, the faculties are all uh, experienced faculties as per the National Council of Hotel Management. And not only the qualification, but they have worked abroad, they have worked in different uh, hotel industry, different hotels. So I feel like the, the facilities, the qualification of the faculty is up to the standard of any other uh, hotel management institute in India. So speaking about hospitality, where is this experience taken you? Um, okay, uh, I have experienced in the hospitality for the last, what, two decades now. So I started my career f as a hotelier with the Oberoi group of hotel. And after that, I joined a cruise line in Europe for two years, which took me to all the you know European countries in the Mediterranean Sea, which was a great experience for me. And I returned to Nagaland in the year uh, 2008, and I worked as a faculty in a hotel management institute. Of course, a degree course it was. And I worked there as a faculty head of the department or the in charge of the uh, department for 10 years. And after that, I, you know, uh, like during my course of staying in Nagaland, I got involved with all these tourism activities where you have the Naga Chef and all the cooking competition. So uh, that's how, you know, I fall in love with food, especially Naga food. And that, you know, uh, with all the knowledge of the Naga cuisine that we have and how Naga cuisine is so versatile, the, the ingredients, I decided to open a restaurant and now I'm a full-time entrepreneur and I'm running a restaurant called Naga Bowl Express and a bakery, Naga Bowl Bakery. So uh, just by having the three years degree in hotel management, uh, it has taken me to different places, to different profession in my life, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. So uh, like, I want to also encourage the youngsters, you know, to pursue any course that will give you skills, that will teach you some skills, because right now what we need is to have the right kind of skills uh, for any job. So hospitality, create opportunity. Uh, if anybody is interested to go for, to pursue hotel management, uh, I encourage them. And also like, uh, there are so many courses, like you have three months, six months, one and a half year. But with the degree in hotel management, I can proudly say that, you know, it gives ample enough opportunity to be not just as a hotelier, but you are eligible to be a professor or a lecturer. Uh, you can even try for government job because um, as Ma'am was saying today, the Deputy Director of Tourism, she is also a hotel management graduate and now she is an officer in a tourism department. So which means just one degree, but it gives you so many different opportunities in different profession, uh, be at hospitality or be at entrepreneurship. So uh, I'm like, Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, we had a, a career counseling program today, right? So maybe could you speak on that? And also, uh, how do you find SIHM since you are from Guwahati, H -I uh, IHM? So. 
So today's career counseling program is to bring the awareness amongst the students of Northeast India. And today we have decided to do it at Dimapur. And the host for this program is State ISM Dimapur. And I am very much pleased to come down here for the first time and see the facilities in the institute. And I hope that latest equipments and machineries are there. And they have already started with a three months Hunar Se Rozgar program and have started from 27 January. And the students who are doing this program, they are serving us today. And I'm very much happy that within the short span of 10 days, they can pick up their lot. And it shows the quality of faculty and the support staff they are having and able to impart that knowledge and skills to them. And with their knowledge and skills, the students will be benefited. And in the long run, State ISM will fulfill the demand of the students of Nagaland, also the other nearby states, and also the nearby districts of Assam. And I hope the State ISM in Dimapur will be one of the best leading institute in the entire Northeast. Hi, uh, my name is Devika Sethi and I'm here representing SIHM, which is the State Institute of Hotel Management. I have come from New Delhi and uh, so basically this comes under the Trade Promotion Council of India. They have a very strong uh, wing in the Ministry of Tourism and uh, especially in Nagaland. So this is an, uh, a CSR initiative taken up by our company. Uh, we want to promote the students of Nagaland in uh, the new institute that we have developed called SIHM. It's a beautiful 16 acre property with, uh, with a lot of facilities in house uh, training and uh, practical theoretical and we also have um, you know uh, hostel stays for boys and girls so it's a co-ed education uh, format and in a very international manner we have very educated faculty very experienced from extremely uh, renowned uh, institutes themselves and we've all culminated and come together to promote the students of Nagaland because they're extremely talented and skilled. So we want to make sure that, um, you know, their, in their confidence is built uh, by them being excellent at their job and because they're already wonderful to work with. So I look forward to this initiative and I'm gonna be a very strong part of it myself. Uh, Dimapur is gonna be my second home from New Delhi and I really look forward to the success story of this. So we need a lot of students coming in and uh, we'll make sure that we have job opportunities for them nationally as well as internationally. Thank you.